Imagine yourself on a day like any other, enjoying the tranquility of your daily routine. You are relaxing on the couch, watching television, while outside the sun shines in an intense blue sky. Everything seems normal until, suddenly, you feel something strange. You go for an outdoor run, savoring the contact with nature and feeling the cool breeze on your face. However, in an instant, something unexpected happens. A tremendous rumble is felt. The earth seems to shake, and suddenly, everything around you descends into chaos. People, cars, some small buildings, and even yourself are hurled at an extraordinary speed in all directions. The sensation is bewildering. Within five seconds, over 90% of all forms of life would perish, and the survivors wonder what happened. The Earth had stopped rotating. Welcome to Futuristic Findings, and in this video, I will tell you everything that would happen if this phenomenon actually occurred. All of us learn in school that the Earth rotates around its own axis, a movement we call rotation. It is a continuous and constant process, taking approximately 24 hours for the Earth to complete one full turn. Despite its impressive speed, about 1,700 kilometers per hour at the equator, we do not perceive this movement in our daily lives. Therefore, it is common for people to underestimate the magnitude of this speed. But why does the Earth perform this movement? The rotation of the Earth is primarily caused by the angular momentum that the planet acquired during its formation and evolution. Angular momentum is a physical quantity that is related to the rotation of an object around an axis. When the Earth formed, gravity pulled particles and materials towards its center, causing these materials to start moving around the axis of rotation. As these materials approached the center of the Earth, their angular velocity increased to conserve the total angular momentum of the system. As a result, the Earth began to spin on its own axis. This process occurred about 4.6 billion years ago, during the formation of our planet. Now imagine for a moment that for some unknown reason, this rotational movement of the Earth was suddenly interrupted. What would happen exactly? To answer this question, we must recall Newton's first law also known as the law of inertia. This law states that a body in motion tends to remain in motion, and a body at rest tends to remain at rest unless an external force acts upon it. If the Earth's rotation were to be abruptly halted, all objects on the planet's surface, including people, buildings, and anything not firmly anchored to the ground, would continue moving with the same speed that the Earth was rotating. This would mean that these objects would be flung outward in the direction tangential to the axis of rotation, causing devastation in all directions. In regions near the poles, where the rotational speed is lower, the effects would be less violent. However, as we approach the equator, where the tangential speed is at its maximum, the impacts would be extremely destructive. Cities would be swept away, structures destroyed, and people would be flung to terrifying distances. The sudden stop of the Earth's rotation would have significant implications on the distribution of its mass, resulting in drastic changes in the planet's gravitational field. With the interruption of the rotational motion, the redistribution of the Earth's mass would occur, causing some areas to experience weaker gravity, while others would become heavier. In regions where gravity weakened, the sensation of weight would be reduced, leading to curious situations such as objects becoming lighter and people feeling looser and more floaty. On the other hand, in areas where gravity increased, the sensation of weight would be intensified, making movement and even daily activities challenging. These variations in gravity would also trigger geological instabilities worldwide. The tectonic plates, which are normally in delicate balance, would be affected by the changes in the gravitational field. This could lead to an increase in seismic and volcanic activity, resulting in devastating earthquakes and volcanic eruptions in various parts of the globe. Moreover, the redistribution of mass could influence the sea level and cause powerful tsunamis. Coastal regions would be particularly vulnerable to these giant waves, putting entire communities and coastal ecosystems at risk. The stoppage of the Earth's rotation would, therefore, unleash a series of geophysical events with potentially catastrophic consequences for our planet and its life forms. 
As a result of the interrupted rotation, some tectonic plates could experience more significant convergence, moving closer to one another. This phenomenon could, over millions of years, lead to collisions between plates, resulting in the formation of enormous mountain ranges or, even more speculatively, the gradual union of continents. Some few scientists still believe that if the Earth were to suddenly stop rotating and gravity was affected, even the Moon could potentially fall and collide with our planet, destroying any remaining trace of life. However, the chances of this happening would be extremely low. If the Earth were to stop rotating abruptly, the centrifugal force that balances gravitational attraction would be interrupted, but the force of gravity would still act on the Moon. This would keep the Moon in its orbit, and it would not fall in the sense of colliding with the Earth. Instead, the Moon would continue to follow its orbital path, although the stability of the Earth-Moon system could be affected by other consequences of the Earth's rotation stopping. Regarding climate, the Earth's rotation also influences wind patterns and ocean currents. With the halt, these patterns would be drastically altered, causing extreme and unpredictable climate changes in different regions of the globe. Furthermore, one of the most notable aspects would be the disruption of the day-night cycle. Half of the planet would be plunged into perpetual darkness, while the other half would be under constant sunlight. And after six months, this scenario would reverse, with both sides of the planet alternating. This would have profound impacts on life and ecosystems, affecting flora, fauna, and the behavioral patterns of all species. But up to this point, only a few humans and animals would be able to survive, and if you were one of these individuals, know that your days would be numbered. You would face a scenario of chaos, with infrastructure collapsing, communications interrupted, and widespread resource shortages. The survival of humanity would be at stake, and the search for underground shelters or protected locations would be a necessity to face the hostile conditions. Even if you managed to survive for a while in this apocalyptic scenario, after about six months, there would be no life left, nor any remnants of civilization on the planet. But all of this would only happen if we considered that the Earth would stop instantaneously and not gradually. However, did you know that this is already happening? The gradual decrease in the Earth's rotational speed is a real phenomenon that occurs over millions of years. This process is the result of interactions between the Earth and other celestial bodies, such as the Moon and the Sun, as well as internal forces, such as terrestrial tides. Although it is a natural phenomenon, its effects are imperceptible on a human scale and do not represent an immediate concern. As a result of this process, the length of a day on Earth is slowly increasing. Currently, the day is about 1.7 milliseconds longer each century. Over geological time scales, these changes accumulate and can have important effects on climate dynamics and how the Earth interacts with other celestial bodies. But rest assured, the Earth will not stop rotating, at least not for several billion years. Now, I invite you to watch our other videos, whether you want to know the reason why space is dark, or perhaps discover the invisible changes that global warming is causing in the world without you even noticing. Take care, and see you in the next video.